Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop and welcome back to part two of the snake cage build. Uh, now that we've got everything put together, got all the frames in, uh, sanded off all the edges, uh, got everything nice and flat, I think we can start with the edge stripping. Uh, what I should have done is I actually should have put on the edge stripping, st edge stripping first uh, in order to make it a bit neater and get everything lined up perfectly. I picked this up from my local wood supplier. It's 0.4 millimeter thick pine stripping, so that's what we'll be putting on. Uh, just to finish off the edges of the plywood. So, without any further long stories, uh, let's get it right into it. It's going to be a time lapse thing again, so uh, hold on and I hope you can, you can figure something out for yourself. Now, now what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm using tin snips to cut the uh, stripping, it, it actually works quite well. Uh, we'll leave it a bit longer than it should be. And then we can just trim off the rest afterwards. I'm using normal cold glue to, uh, to actually stick it on and then we'll clamp it. It's fairly cold in a shop, so it takes a, a bit longer to dry. Uh, but nonetheless, we'll get it done in the end. While I was doing the editing, I thought I might just as well do a little voiceover. Um, just to make it not as monotonous. You'll see, yeah, I'm just uh, sticking on the edge stripping. Uh, I'm actually clamping to the bottom of my fabrication table and not to the back of the snake edge itself. Um, the snake edge is standing right on the edge of the, of, of the table. Uh, when I'm through with this, uh, with the gluing up, uh, just finishing off with a wet rag, just getting rid of all the excess glue, uh, making sure that the ends are uh, glued on properly and, and, and sitting hard on. Then it's a bit of a uh, time passing and then we're up to the next one and the next one and the next one. Uh, very monotonous work, it takes a while, but uh, you'll get there in the end. Here I'm busy with the last portion of the uh, first uh, snake cage, uh, the front section, after that it'll be uh, the sides. I didn't do it on the back as you won't be seeing that. Um, I didn't film all of it, it's just the first cage that I that I actually did the filming on because I'm no use in being repetitive. Uh, as you can see there I've just um, took the file and just took the edges off. The edge stripping is actually wider than the 18mm plywood. so. So I let it stick over on the end and when it was all dry I just uh, took off the edges. And once again, the cold glue just wipes off with a wet rag. Uh, make sure that your rag's clean, otherwise you smear it onto the wood and you have to uh, sand the whole thing off afterwards once again. Now, I didn't uh, show this on the video, but once you've got all the edge stripping done, I uh, just took normal um, wood filler, pine wood filler, and just filled all the screw holes and made sure everything's neat and, and sanded it off just to get everything flat. And once again, just a repetition of the whole thing over and over and over again. Uh, it took quite a while, it was quite cold in the shop, so the glue uh, didn't set as quick as I would want it to, but eventually we got there in the end. Now that all that's done, I'm just using my spray gun to spray the polyurethane finish on. Uh, I had, I'm still battling with the settings of the spray gun, so you'll see a lot of overspray and a lot of waste on this. But one day I'll get it right, maybe I'll search around on YouTube and see how to set the spray gun properly. 
The second round I used a little sponge roller just to check uh, the difference in paint, paint application and it got down to about the same so I think once I get the spray gun set right it will definitely be the better option. The next step is to get the heating pad and the light in so I'm just drilling uh, small holes through the back of the snake cage to feed the wiring to the back. Okay, so I ran out of space on the memory card on my camera, so I didn't film the whole wiring process. If you know what you're doing, carry on. If you don't, get someone to show you. Uh, this is not a project for, maybe I can do this, I'll, and I'll tell you why. Uh, I'm all for trying new stuff and making a hash of it and picking up the pieces. The thing is, if you're going to try something and might turn out to be a hash, you want to be there when it happens, uh, to pick up the pieces. This thing you're going to leave when you go to sleep, when you go to work, whatever, you won't be able to look after it. So if you want to try something, do a test bench sort of scenario, check it out, make sure that it works like you want it to work and then you can sort of switch it over. I still do it. Uh, don't leave something that you're not familiar with to carry on in your house. Um, it, it just creates a mess. but. If, if you want to try it out, but make sure you've got a test bench where you can pull a plug tonight when you go to sleep and make sure that you're looking after it while, while it's happening. Uh, that being said, let's carry on. Okay, so I've been dragging a little bit on this project, but let's get it done and finished off. Uh, all we need to do now is get the railing and the glass in. Um, so I'm just going to start by measuring off how far we need to cut it off quickly sort of make it fit and then we'll carry on. Okay, so they gave me the wrong size glass. I'm not gonna go and change that out now. So what I've done is I've got spaces for the for the rail. Uh, the one fit on each side so we can have the glass in the middle together so the snakes can't get out in that uh, center portion. So I'm just gonna stick that in. So this is enclosure for the little man snake, we've got it set up in this room now. Um, they're still hibernating, it's still winter so I doubt we'll see them anytime soon. Uh, apologies for this shakiness of the camera, I'm using my phone in my hand. But I think it all came out good, everything's working, the timers are working. The little heat pads uh, doing its thing, I just put a little piece of uh, PVC towel on top of it so that it's not in direct contact and sometime in the future we'll put some astral grass in it and make it nice for them but I think I'm gonna leave them, let them sleep for the rest of the winter 
and as soon as they start feeding again you can sort all of that out guys that's that for this project thanks for watching thanks for tuning in uh, please rate comment subscribe and as always stay safe